All right, I'm going to show you how to get a dirty blues tone on harmonica. <laughs> First, you need an amplifier. I highly recommend getting a small valve or tube amp if you're in the US, such as the Fender 57 Champ, Stage 5, Harp Gear HG2, or there are also some really good solid state amps that will do the trick. Do not be tempted to buy a really big valve amp for home use. They will be difficult to get a good sound out of. In this video, I'm using the ZT Lunchbox amp, which is a solid state, but sounds awesome. All right, now let's look at the microphone. I recommend getting some type of bullet microphone to start with. For beginners, I would recommend getting a small bullet microphone. I really, really like the Hona Blues Blaster HB52 because it's well built, sounds great, and it's really easy to hold. For the Blues Blaster HB52, you will need a female XLR to quarter inch jack cable. Right, I'm now going to show you how to set the controls on your amp. Some amplifiers will have a volume and gain knob, uh, and that's going to uh, control two different aspects of your tone. So you've got your volume and your gain here on this amplifier. The volume controls how loud your amplifier gets. So that's the output of the amp. Uh, so right now I've just got that set at 12 o'clock. We'll dial that in a little bit more in a moment. The gain is the one that we're really interested in. So the gain controls um, the, uh, the, the color of the amp and the distortion amount. So if you turn your gain up way, way too high, it's gonna sound really, really harsh. <laughs> and we're going to get all that feedback. So we don't want a really high gain. Instead, I'd probably set it quite low, uh, certainly less than halfway. Uh, and remembering that a huge amount of the distortion that you get on your harmonica comes from good cupping technique with the microphone. And if you set the gain too high on your amp, then you're going to lose all of that flexibility with your hands. So I, I'll set the gain quite low. I'm going to set the volume at 12 o'clock and hear how that sounds. If I turn the gain up a little bit, it still sounds quite good, uh, but it's starting to get a little bit harsh for my liking. So I'll turn it down just a tiny bit. And if I want some more volume, I can always turn that up. But for me right now in the room, this is, this is plenty. Uh, so I don't need to go much higher than that. So remember, the volume is your overall volume of the amplifier and the gain is what changes the, uh, the color, the distortion uh, of your sound. Okay, so here we have a tone knob uh, which is going to affect uh, our uh, kind of how bassy and muffled something is sounding or how, how bright and trebly it's sounding. So basically this tone knob if you set it at 12 o'clock, if you turn it anti-clockwise, it's going to uh, remove treble. If you turn it clockwise, it's going to add treble. Uh, so if we turn it all the way up and just try that out. You can already hear it starting to feed back. So that's not actually a very usable sound for harmonica uh, because harmonica is a very bright trebly instrument. So what I would generally do is turn the tone down so we make it uh, warmer and more bassy sounding. And if I turn it all the way down, that might be a little bit too muffled. So. I've got a little bit less than 12 o'clock because I want it to be bassy, but not, not massively less. So you can play with this to, to taste and uh, also depending on what key harmonica you're using. So maybe if you were using a lower key harmonica like an A or a G, you could turn it up a little bit so it was more trebly, but not, not too much. And if you were using a, a higher key harmonica like a D, you could turn it uh, anti-clockwise so you can make it more bassy. Uh, but let's leave it there for now. Okay, now let's look at the most important thing, which is acoustic technique and cupping. 
The key to great amplified tone is getting good acoustic tone and having a good seal around the harmonica and microphone. So take your harmonica in your left hand, if you don't already hold it like this, hold it between your index finger and your thumb. Uh, have a little bit of a kind of curve in the thumb and the finger so you can stuff your mouth into that and keep your index finger and thumb at the same level along the harmonica. Wrap your other fingers behind the harmonica to create a kind of sound chamber. Bring your left hand up underneath like this and use your palm to close that hole there. And that's how you're going to get a good cup around the harmonica. Get comfortable doing that with uh, just the harmonica and then you can start working on getting the microphone technique locked in. Okay, so that is just a very quick introduction to amplified playing. I've put together a handy PDF with all of the equipment that I used in this video so you know exactly how to get started. Just click on the link in the description below and follow the instructions to get a copy via email. All right, thank you so much for watching. Click up here if you want to learn a fun electric blues tune.